At the same time, a little known Des Moines business is making a difference around the world. The owner went from fitting patients with leg braces to making those braces himself. As WHO 13's Kaylin Thompson shows us, his design is changing lives. Metro residents drive by this building off of McKinley Avenue every day and would be surprised to see all what's inside. Busy hands, interesting figures. So once we've lined up the model and we have all the angles set. And an expert in the unique profession of orthotics, Noel Clotic. When I was a kid and I would work building braces in my dad's lab, he always said that in order to build a brace for someone, you have to understand what it's going to do to the body. And so I learned a lot about the biomechanics and how braces, the engineering of a brace and how it affected the biomechanics of somebody walking. It's why Clodic started his company, Biomechanical Composites, to make what he calls fat braces, physically handicapped advanced technologies with a system he developed. People around the country, practitioners, orthodists, take a cast of their patient's leg and make a negative model of the patient's leg and then they send that to us in order for us to have a model of the patient's leg to build the brace to. The casts are lined up to figure out the right height, 3 8 inch heel height for this one, angles and rotations, filled with plaster to create the model, and then tweaked and modified to make sure the brace will fit precisely. I take a cast model of somebody's leg and I have their leg in my hands and I'm going to build this brace design to them that brace should be perfect. Carbon fiber is laid down to create the design of the brace before it goes into this pressure vessel to cure and then tested for durability. When I first started, I would make a brace and when I got the carbon done, I would squeeze it and feel how much compression it had or how much recoil it had. And that was my measurement. And that wasn't very accurate. And so we came up with a force plate and this apparatus in order to get that measurement to be right. The carbon fiber structure finally goes to lamination where a resin is poured over it and you're left with a brace that has a soft, flexible shell that can open to put the patient into it. Same thing with down here. And it's also very heat moldable if any adjustments need to be made. And then the carbon fiber structure is sandwiched inside of that so that it has the right resistance to be able to bend and spring back for the patient. A brace design Clodic came up with after wanting better for the patients he used to see at his own clinic. People didn't like to have to wear a brace. And so I was always looking for something that had a higher function so that it wasn't that somebody it was good for someone to wear this or they could then walk again but to actually get it to where they could walk normally and people couldn't notice that they were wearing a brace. A clinic his brother ended up taking over so he could focus on his company in a career path he grew up knowing but never really wanted to be in. When I got out of the military, um, I needed work and I went back into it and I found I was pretty good at it and it was uh, more rewarding to help somebody or make a difference for somebody than I could ever imagine and it just kind of became what I do. In the two decades since biomechanical composites began, his employees have made upwards of 30,000 braces that change how people walk. Giving them back control of their extremity. A visual clotic shows to practitioners across the country. No problem walking. As he educates them on what his braces can do. I found this wow moment where we then set the patient down and take the brace off after walking 40, 50 feet. And the patient stands up and has trouble taking a step. And they start to realize how much that brace was just doing for them. Through the thousands that have put on one of his braces, Clodic can't help but remember a young boy in Florida. I came out and he was running back and forth across the lobby. And his mom was crying because he had never run before. And so I was like, I wish I could get that in the class. That's the thing to see, you know. So, yeah, that's, that's the difference it makes for people. A difference that turned into a lifetime of devotion and what ended up being Clodic's true calling. What else would I do? I, I, I can, I can build, a, build a building or build a house or build something that will last for a really long time, but 
changing someone's life is everything. In Des Moines, Kaylin Thompson, WHO 13 News. Wow, Kladik is always looking at ways to improve his braces for patients, including making them more lightweight. He's even working with the military to get injured troops back into battle faster. If you'd like to learn more, just visit his website, fatbraces.com. But you can feel how much that means to him. I, I'm just so shocked because I've heard, you know, over the years, the radio ads, clotic orthotic, it right, rhymes, exactly. right? I had no idea there was all this going on behind the scenes. Fascinating. Yeah. Great stuff.